there, this is Gina from HauntedFlower.com and HauntedFlowerReviews.com and today I've got another three titles to review on DVD that were released on July 12th. You may not have heard of some of these. We've got The War of the Roses, A Bloody Crown, Frozen Kiss, and Card Subject to Change. I'm going to go with these from least interesting to most interesting. First I gotta say I was a little disappointed with The War of the Roses because it promised me to be a definitive documentary bringing to life captivating true stories behind the blood-soaked wars, which were the House of Lancaster against the House of York. And you know what? It wasn't much more interesting than my history book was. It consists mainly of uh, some drawings of family trees, portraits of some of the nobles and the royalty and all that, and it really doesn't get into much of anything. The reenactments are basically every once in a while you might get a couple seconds of a glimpse of someone who looks like they came straight out of um, those uh, medieval knights places but with really really fuzzy camera work you know because cameras were much older back in the time of the War of the Roses. I just wish we could have gotten into the drama of it a little more because mainly it's a narrator telling things in kind of a dull way like so-and-so poisoned so-and-so. Shouldn't that be exciting? Like anytime one of them killed the other or something happened or oh my god there's a baby that is king. Why isn't this stuff more interesting? It's mostly because of the delivery. For extras there's some detailed reenactments, weapons demonstrations, forensic investigations, and animated maps. It's about 75 minutes of bonus footage, but it doesn't really help too much overall. The final feature is 128 minutes long, but I just don't recommend it because it's dull. It just doesn't make what should have been exciting, exciting. The next one is Frozen Kiss. This is supposed to be based on a true story, but it comes off as such a friggin' soap opera. I was really disappointed. It follows this young couple who gets stranded out in a very, very, very cold night while they're under the influence of a bunch of drugs and alcohol and stuff and they get lost and they freeze to death. Meanwhile, they add in all sorts of things like an alcoholic mother, a jealous ex-boyfriend cop, the fact that the authorities in other towns have so much red tape that it's difficult to search for the lost couple. It's ridiculous and there's all these love triangles and drugs and honestly, it's a little low budget and the acting is a little bad. I thought this was gonna be some sort of like survivalist thing to see what they would do stuck out in the wild and it was not that at all. It was the two of them running around after hallucinations being idiots. So I didn't want to root for them, so who cares? And that's Frozen Kiss. I don't recommend it. There's no extras and it's 86 minutes long. And the last DVD I'm talking about today is Cards Subject to Change. This one is the best one of the week. This is a documentary about pro wrestling's underground. It has lots of footage from a long range of years, has some old school stuff, some more recent stuff of what it's like out on the circuit right now. If you're thinking that this is going to be the way that you're going to see how WWE stars rose to stardom, ah, uh, yes and no. A lot of them started out this way, but you're not going to see very many actually in this story. A few familiar faces you will see is Terry Funk, who is a hardcore legend. Anything hardcore is synonymous with his name. You also get to see a little bit of Paul Bearer and superstar Billy Graham. It shows a lot of where superstar careers start and where superstar careers go to die and where the vast majority of pro wrestlers actually compete. The conditions are not good, the competition is pretty fierce, and you're kind of on your own. The pay really isn't very good unless you're some sort of big name guy, so you're kind of just doing it for the passion. Steroids are always an issue and they come into play. Making a name for yourself is difficult and a lot of people find that they're really not made for this profession because it is so taxing on the body. 
These guys really go through a lot, and this one really focuses on the independent circuit. I really like this one, but honestly, it didn't show me anything really new because um, I've actually got another documentary here. I really recommend sometime checking out Beyond the Mat. It kind of pulls back the curtain a little bit on some of the WWE superstars and their past histories. You get a lot of background on Jesse the Body Ventura's opinions, Mankind, Terry Funk, lots of cool stuff in this one. The reason it's a little controversial is because it does go into steroid use a little bit, but I really don't think that that's the big deal about this film. I think it just shows a lot of the history, what the guys go through, and how you can get to the big leagues and what it takes to be there. So this is your recognizable names about the guys that you see on TV or have seen on TV. And this is about the independent guys, the ones that you don't see, the ones out there doing it every day for the love, for the passion. This is like the wrestler. That's another round of DVD reviews. All of these were released on July 12th, and I have a large stack that I'm catching up on, so very soon I will be back with another DVD Blu-ray review trio. So until then, see you next time. Bye! For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.